Well, you inspire me, man. After seeing you over at the store, dude, like, because you just like, because you're selling, like, it's not even you're selling, but like, my intention when I came out here was never to sell jokes. I wanted to be me. And then after I got caught up for a long time, I just, everybody does. I thought like, fuck, then then nobody likes me. I gotta I gotta fit in just like everybody else. Nope. But nope. then I saw you at the store one night, dude, and that fucking music went off. I'm like, what is this going <laughs> on? Dude? I'm like, are they about to park a cruise ship on the fucking? We don't stage fuck ride? around down there. I totally. And then you got up and fucking <laughs> I... ripped everybody up, a bunch of fucking hamsters in there. <laughs> I get... you when know. you left, I was like, I am never not gonna be myself again when you come out to los angeles and you're here three months or you're here two months and somebody's interested in you and they take you to lunch and then they sign you as a commercial agent or theatrical agent or a manager doesn't matter they're gonna send you out for an audition for most people don't know that could be any audition a commercial audition and the first words out of your mouth i don't give a fuck if you're classically trained is i i don't know what to do or you're going to say something, and their response is going to be, be yourself. And you're like, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear that, guys, for fucking 15 years before one day you go, oh, I know what they want now. Yeah. I wasn't getting it. The whole time I'm here, I'm trying to be Doug Stanhope. I'm trying to be Paul Mooney. You're trying, and I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know you're know, not saying I want to be a brother. I'm trying to be Nick DiPaolo. I'm trying to be yeah. Mitch Hedberg. Yeah. What if people go home and go, what if I could put Nick DiPaolo or Mitch Hedberg? But the funniest character they're hiding is the character they're hiding. Yeah. Because that's the reason why they came out here is because of that fucking character that's gotten them through everything for 15 years, that voice. Yeah. That voice that you only let out in front of your friends. Yeah. And that your friends like that is fucking <laughs> hilarious. We're having a conversation at the store one night, and you're like, last week, some guy got... Found with thirty pounds of hamster bones, you know. They did in my town. They just busted the, the, a man. It just doesn't. Right away, you gotta bones. stop what you're doing in that conversation and giggle, because yeah. nine out of ten people wouldn't be proud that that happened in their hometown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't even oh, mention it. God. If somebody comes up to me and go, uh, "Are you from New Orleans?" Not really. I'm from <laughs> Texas. Wait a second. I gotta go. You know, you, you get to that point. Most fucking people would be embarrassed to say something right, like that, right. or it would take them. Ten minutes after everybody told their story, yeah, to say, oh, by the way, there's a guy. I'm like, no, we were just talking. It's Tuesday oh, this night. dude, yeah, we were I ready remember. to go home, and you came out with it, and I'm fucking me and Lee were dying in the car, <laughs> like, what's he talking about? Hamster meat? What the fuck is he talking about? And that's yeah, they busted him, man. Listen, dog, they got him. What if? <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Damn. I like the, like it's like they got him. No, I'm they glad got they got him, him, dude. Thirty pound bag of hamster one, like, I mean that's. Cause you have to. There's not as much meat. There's very little bone in a hamster, bro. Them oh. hams got a ham probably has like a quart, like an eighth of an ounce in its chest plate, bro. You can't even make a wish on their bones. You know, there's nothing in there. Where so, do you get all those hamsters from? That's it. well, they breed them in our town. I used to work for this group. They used to sell tattooed hamsters and guinea pigs. After uh, they tattoo them. Yeah, they used to brand them with concerts and raves. They would say it's tattooed just to make people not be as sad about it. But it was a brand, bro. Brand, bro. <laughs> of what? With like a heat and ink, bro. For what? Like what did it say? Uh, 311, Green Day, anything like of different bands that were coming to town. <laughs> Toadies. <laughs> That's Swear to God, up. bro. Toadies, Acid Bath. Uh, who else? Uh, Raves. Whatever, bro. We used to truck these hams into the city and fucking <laughs> vend them, bro. <laughs> we did, man. Because there wasn't much there wasn't much work in our town, dude. You know, you had to get what you could get and they had a man that bred hamsters and uh and then they had to do the, the tattoos and they fucking met up and that was a merger. That's big business, you know? And they started uh A merger. They started doing it. Man, <laughs> I got me some three hundred mouse in my house and shit and some other guy's like you know what man I'm a pretty good tattoo artist <laughs> that's Louisiana man. and that's it a merger is formed <laughs> that means someone listening to this right now has had a hamster with like a band label on it like, who the fuck <laughs> buys a hamster listen if I went to a concert do you think I'm bringing a hamster home with fuck fucking yeah. ACDC I don't know I'm not no I'm no, not I'm gonna, about be, to rock. I'm gonna be Hell fucked yeah. up the whole night with this Hamster in my but pocket. when you leave, when you leave, Coco, when you leave the place, that's when we get you, bro. 
You get it, they're hanging. People are leaving, they're on ecstasy pills, they're on Molly. You leave, you get that fucking hands, you get that warm little piece of God in their hands, they buy it every time, you know, bro. I was on 